Big Bird RC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a brushless ESC. I've had a, a few of my members on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel asking which way the wires go, how to connect the ESCs to the receivers, etc. So I thought I'd pop a quick video on to try and help you guys out. Hopefully it'll help somebody out. So we'll start off taking the body off. Motor's already fitted. This is filthy from messing about yesterday. This is the actual buggy I had set on fire yesterday, hence why I'm putting a new ESC in. So let's pull this old tape off. Put that to one side. Right, to do this, you're gonna need the buggy, some double-sided tape, an ESC, cable ties, and some snips. So, first thing we do, just move that out of the way, got the ESC. So what we want to do is create a sticky surface on the bottom. Now, all I do is put a few strips of this on. I mean, you can buy it thicker. This is just what I had to hand and it was free. So you can't complain. This is ridiculous stuff though. This is what they used to put double glazed windows in skyscrapers. So it ain't gonna come off in a hurry when it's dry, when it sets. It's ridiculously hard to get off. Is good, I suppose, because you don't want it falling off in your buggy. So, just trim the edges off, make sure it's nice and neat, otherwise, my OCD kicks in. So, there we go. Now, so we've got the bottom covered, we need to remove the tape off the side. You, you can get big square blocks, or you can buy it in thick and cut it down. You know, it's, it's your choice really. Um, quite annoyed that I'm having to change the CSC because it's set fire um, during the making of my last video. At the end of it, when I hit the off-road record, um, I call it record, but nobody else seems to have done it. So in my eyes, it's a record. The I turned the camera off, went to get the buggy, accelerated, and a plume of smoke came out um, like a fireball. I managed to get it out. I thought it was a lipo fire at first, but it turns out it was the ESC caught fire on 3S. So I don't know whether it's a fault of ESC. The sellers um, actually refunded, refunded me. Um, I'm going to buy the newer version of this, which is the red version. Now, you can fit it whichever way you want. Uh, I prefer to have mine fitted here, like so. Just make sure that the front of the body will still fit. Just needs to go back slightly. Um, let's put that back on. Just bear with me while I get it in some sort of position where it's it should be about there I think got it on yep no problem so dead simple three banana leads off your motor three banana leads off your ESC yes it is as simple as colour to colour but sometimes these are labelled wrong and the manufacturers and when you go forwards it'll go backwards and vice versa so sometimes you have to switch these over so if you you find that as you press forward it goes backwards flip two of these over so yellow to blue blue to yellow and it'll run the right way it's just the way it is so what we do is take a zip tie Make sure it's running nice down the side, and then what I do is I take one zip tie round the 
shock tower and then through push the cable in down out of the way and then nip the zip tie up not too tight you don't need to be ridiculous with it because at the end of the day it you don't want to put added pressure on it so that's out of the way and then pop a little cable tie on here just to keep them nice and together and then that's out of the way so you have your ESC wire that goes to your receiver battery wire and the switch I normally mount my switches there so we just need a little, a little bit of this double sided tape like that you you can mount it anywhere you want um, as long as you've got room for it to go uh, there's not actually a great deal of wire on these to extend it to somewhere where you want it to I mean you can extend the wires if you want to move the um, to move the switch I have no nails so I struggle to pull the red tape off sometimes especially when it's such a small piece well that seems to have got it sorry about the dogs next door um, pop it there out of the way batch cable around that goes there body can go on as normal it's entirely to you work which way you run your wires it's just that I like mine to be straight and no kinks in them so they can't overheat in an ideal world if I had some banana connectors I'd shot on the, the lead so it was more of a direct plug-in so that's how we wire an ESC up um, this is on the uh, WL Toys 144001 but it's the same regardless of buggy, truggy RC car that's how they run together so we can tidy up this this wire a little bit pull it down if you want to make sure that it's not going to snag on anything not going to rub on the suspension I think that's quite a nice fit nice loose wires no kinks nice bends yeah so I'm going to end that video here on the next video I'm going to show you how to fit a receiver to the buggy and connect everything up um a few people have commented as well obviously which which way you plug the servo and esc in so i'm gonna end this video here on the next video you'll see me uh, wiring up a receiver to the vehicle okay well thanks for watching if you like what you see like and subscribe check out some of my other videos bang that bell button and I'll see you in another video. Take care.